Hey Switchers, how's it going? Kanan here once again with another review and this time it's for Save Me Mr. Taco The Definitive Edition. So join me as we find out whether it's going to hit the heights of the Wall of Fame or maybe the Wall of Shame or maybe somewhere in the middle. And as I've got your attention right now, why not go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with all of my videos that I do and also hit that link to join us on our Discord. Come for the community chat, stay for the community streaming. Gameplay. Okay, I shall now refer to it as Mr. Taco as the title's rather long. Okay, so starting off, the story is actually not a bad story and it's kind of told as you progress through the actual game. And it's one of conflict between humans and octopus and betrayal and the past and an octopus and princesses struggle to discover the past of the octopuses. And it's actually set under the water or in the water and also above the water and this is actually done pretty cool and i do appreciate this because obviously it splits up the game a little bit as the environments look kind of similar but they are actually different set pieces which is cool another thing worth mentioning is with the shoulder buttons you can actually change the kind of tone of the actual look of the game the color scheme you might say this is actually quite cool to do the game split up into levels and stages with extras that you can kind of like go and explore and you will actually be rewarded for your exploration. The levels are made up by sections with doors in them, kind of like doors everywhere and each level is another door and basically you go through here and you enter like a stage and each of these are side scrolling like platformers where you can go up and down but be careful there are drops where if you go off them you will just lose a life and some of these actual platforming areas are also puzzles where you'll be tasked with shooting buttons to open like doors and also to lift up or alter some of the platforms so that you can get to different areas there's also enemies here that you can hit with your ink and that can stun creatures and basically you can then jump on them to get to other platforms or just stun them so that you don't get hurt yourself your ink will run low and if you haven't got time to like replenish it you can get like pickups that like replenish it for you and as well as that sort of pickup you can also pick up these diamond things and well you can collect a hundred of them and you get an extra life it's also worth mentioning that apart from them there are other pickups that you can have and that can be like extra weapons and things like that as well and there's also environmental hazards that you have to deal with as well and so as traditionally done you can well jump onto platforms and you can also shoot your ink but you can also collect these hats as well and there's even a shop for these and basically each hat gives you something different either like a weapon that you know like a ball that bounces around or like a robin hood type hat that basically gives you arrows to shoot but can also do things like give you extra health and all the actual game comes in three different difficulties and depending on what you pick will depend on how hard the actual game will be to you but luckily enough there's also checkpoints strewn around these levels so that you can like you know not go back to the beginning when your character dies and lastly yes there are boss battles and these are handled quite well and you know they're okay they're nothing really special it's just learning what you need to do to defeat the actual well bosses the control scheme as a whole was okay it just had a slight flaw but when you went through doors you sometimes went back through them because up actually pushes you through the actual doors and there was the occasion where you'd go through it and you know you'd knock the controller and you'd go back through the actual door this also works for speaking to people or creatures as well and you know you press up and you interact with them weirdly enough i'd say i over engaged with the actual story it's actually quite compelling which is really weird to me considering what it's about but i think the game being broken up with these little not cut scenes but interactions was actually pretty well done and quite a smart move graphically this is definitely a retro 2d style side scroller and yeah it kind of shows but i do like the fact that you can change the color scheme as you're going along i thought that was kind of like a really neat little gimmick that yeah does actually work quite well 
sound wise yes again the audio was definitely in the retro side of things and i thought it was okay i wasn't really blown away by it but it definitely served its purpose and well did what it needed to do the good well it definitely will please people who like the look of retro 2d style platformers with a kind of cuteness about them i do like the story and also how they've integrated it with the gameplay as well the bad the issue that I had going in and out of the doors with the up button and I wasn't the greatest fan of the music. The score. All in all though I did have a very good time within this game and yeah I liked how it integrated the story with the actual gameplay and kind of like bounced both off each other. And that's why I'm going to award it a 3 plus. Kind of very close to a 4 but just didn't quite get there. And as for my alternative. I'm going to suggest any of the Shantai, you know, the Half Genie series. I don't own all of them, but I do own some of them. And yeah, I really do enjoy them and they play really well. And again, they're a platformer with some puzzling elements to it as well. And of course, if you've got a better suggestion, then leave it down in the comments, as well as any comments that you have about Mr. Taco Taco. Leave them all down in the comments. That's what they're there for. And if you've enjoyed your experience here and want more, then hit that like and subscribe button down below. You'll be helping the channel as well. And also consider coming, seeing us in our community discord. Come for the streaming, come for the chat. Just head on over. We are a friendly bunch. Link down below because life is better when we switch together.